Hello mathematicians and welcome to another video in this division of fractions uh, series. Uh, fractions, I hope that you are uh, getting a better sense of what they are and how division actually works. Today we're going to uh, divide a, um, a whole number, uh, sorry, a fraction by a whole number. So we are going to look at this uh, real, real world problem to get an idea of what's going on. Okay, so it says three-fourths gallons of cake batter is poured equally into two bowls. So let me stop right here and let me make sense of what I see. See that there are three-fourths uh, gallons of cake batter, and that's what it seems like there is, and that's being shared equally or poured equally um, into two bowls. So the very first thing I'm going to do when I see this is I'm going to model or draw out my 3 fourth gallons of cake batter. So I'm going to use a tape diagram or a bar model. And this whole, uh, this whole rectangle will represent one gallon of cake batter. Okay, and then I'm going to partition each, uh, the whole gallon into four equal parts because that's what my denominator is telling me to do. And then I'm going to shade in three of these parts. One, two, three. And the shaded part is the number of gallons of cake batter that I have. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this equally or pour equally amongst two bowls. What this is really asking me to do is to take three-fourths and uh, share it equally amongst two parts. So if you think back to what we were talking about before, um, I'm trying to find the, the size uh, of one bowl. So how many gallons are in each bowl? How many gallons are in one bowl? So I'm going to have to um, partition each of these, uh, these the gallons that I have into two equal parts. So I'm going to partition each of these pieces that I have into two equal parts and therefore what is in one of those parts will be the number of gallons that are shared in one bowl. And if I look at this, um, the, the portion that goes in one bowl is, let me count the number of pieces, one, two, three. So I have three pieces. And what is the name of each of these pieces? Well, I look at what the whole uh, rectangle is, and it's been partitioned into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal pieces. Because remember, the, the question is how many gallons are there? So I look at this unit and I figure out this is a gallon right here, so my denominator would be um, the number of pieces or number of parts that make up the gallon. So there are eight pieces that make up the gallon, so therefore these pieces are called eighths. So this would be three-eighths of the gallon. Th sorry, three-eighths of a gallon are in each bowl. Because if you look here, there's three-eighths of a gallon in this bowl as well. But the question is only asking me to find the number of gallons that are in one bowl, because that would be the same for every bowl that's listed here. Okay, So the answer to that question would be there are... three-eighths gallons, or three-eighths of a gallon, in each bowl. Okay? And that is uh, dividing a fraction by a whole number. Uh, the strategy that we can use visually is to use the area model. Um, we could draw a tape diagram to do that, to see this. Okay, so I hope this helped you in uh, division of fractions, dividing a fraction by a whole number. In our next video, we're actually going to divide a whole number by a fraction. 
All right, so I hope this helped, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Otherwise, have a wonderful day, and continue to uh, discover and learn more deeply about division of fractions.